Hey, going to try to do a garden update here. I've tried this a couple times over the past couple weeks and had either audio or video problems each time, so give it another shot. Starting here at the grotto. Don't really have anything much in here anymore. Something just stripped the lettuce. I don't know if that was bugs or chickens or what it was, but um, and the radishes I planted in here just went straight to seed. They never really had a chance. It just was too dry and, and hot too quick for them. But I might get some carrots out of it, so. Um, the mint's still growing here, and, and uh, the walking onions are in good shape, making a lot of seed pods. I don't know if I've, now I can't remember what I mentioned in the last one that I didn't use, but anyway. Um, my mom said they've been picking off these bulbs, these onion sets that form at the top. They've been picking those off and uh, sauteing those or stir-frying them or something. So I might have to try that one of these days. All right, over to the other garden. All right, I'm in the main garden here. And um, still got some asparagus to pick. I probably won't be picking it much longer, but I'm still getting some good size asparagus. I have let some of the, I have let some skinny ones go start growing as plants, um, but I think I'll still pick it one or two more times here. I've got the potato patch over here, um, just recently weeded it, so it looks a lot better than it did. I don't know how much longer it'll be before they start to dry out and get ready to, to dig. Um, I actually got close to a pound of strawberries off my strawberry plants, which really surprised me since there's only about six of them. This is one of the bigger ones here. They're done. They're, they're done making. Well, I guess they might make some more. I think it's just been... I haven't had any rain here really at all in the last month to speak of. So, I don't know. It's It's been rough on things. But um, I need to look and see when to transplant these because they're sending out runners right now. So, like, that one will root down there. That one, that one will root down. That one's rooting down over there. So I'll be able to dig those up and spread them out. Um, this area out here, part of it I put down plastic. Um, probably can't really tell, but this area in here I put down plastic to kill off the weeds. And then the rest of it out in there I went ahead and used the tiller, but I just I tilled really shallow just to basically knock down the weeds most of them you can tell there's a few still standing but um i didn't want to work the soil any more than i had to it's kind of been my my goal this year but um went ahead and used it just kind of to, just to break up the weeds because it's been as dry as it's been you can't really pull weeds they just break off so um i did that and i'll end up planting stuff out in there i don't know just what yet beans and various things this area here you probably can't really tell, but I've got a lot of stuff transplanted out here. Um, cabbages and broccoli, um, some onions, some Swiss chard. Um, like there's a, there's either a cabbage or a broccoli, a couple of them transplanted there. It's been, really I was expecting we had like a couple of 70 degree or seven, a couple of 70% rain days that that rain nut not at all so um, I was expecting some rain on this stuff I'll probably end up watering it again tonight try to keep some of them alive um, the beans under the trellis here the ones that came up are doing okay I actually need to get the trellis up here pretty soon they're starting to want to climb and I just planted some new um, just some regular Blue Lake climbing beans, um, kind of in between all the ones that did come up. So I think I think the ones I think the ones that are here now are all lima beans. I don't think they're. Um, I think that's all that came up the first time. So see what happens with the with the other ones I just planted. All right, here in the herb garden, I've got um, chicken wire kind of laid around on. on laid around over top of things here to keep chickens from digging or really cats from digging either or dogs um i did transplant out some herbs the other day like there's a lavender there should be, there's another lavender there um there's uh 
echinacea back here in the back there's um a couple other things but i put down a bunch of grass clippings first and then just put the herbs um, just made spaces for the herbs in that so hopefully that's keeping them keeping them from getting too dried out and watering them every day too um still got these these huge marshmallow things that i don't really have any use for um, this hyssop plant which is doing great that should come back year after year i can't think what that is it's one of the herbs but i can't remember which one anyway on to the next garden okay this is kind of the I don't know what you call it. I, I call it the West Garden, but anyway. Um, and probably the one where I have the most stuff planted, but um, these are the peas I planted way back in the early spring. They're just about ready to be picked, I would say. Not very many of them came up, but the ones that did, I'll be able to pick them pretty soon. I've been using as much lettuce as possible, but it's starting to bolt now that one there they're gonna be they're gonna be done for pretty soon in this heat um, the sweet corn likes it at least and I've got these peas over here the funny thing is if you compare these peas to the peas I planted early over there um, these are just starting to set on pods now I'd say these are, I'd say they were planted close to two months apart. I think that's right. I'd have to check my notes, but they're planted pretty far apart, and yet these are going to catch up. They're the same, same peas out of the same bag and everything. But these planted later on are going to catch up to within a week or two weeks of that early, those early ones. So sometimes you don't really gain much planting stuff early um, when it comes right down to it. Uh, this is mustard. See, it's just starting. It's just starting to put on the seed pods here. Um, mustard for making mustard with, not mustard greens. Um, got carrots here. Swiss chard. And whatever this is, I'm still not sure. It kind of looks like turnips, maybe, but it's also got like broccoli mixed into it. I don't know. And then I've got a weedy area. Um, like I said, it's pretty hard to weed when, uh, pretty hard to weed when it's this dry because they just break off. And it's even, it's even kind of hard on your hands doing it. So I've been hoping for some rain, but I think I may have to just wet this area down really well. Just run the sprinkler on it for a few hours and then pull these weeds because especially these, uh, lamb's quarters, one thing they say lamb's quarters indicate healthy soil, <laughs> but uh, so I guess that's good. But I need to get the weeds down because this, like this double row of beans here, goes right on up through there, and they can't be doing they can't be doing real well with those lamb's quarters choking them out. Um, same way over here, there should be a row of um, onion sets down in here somewhere. So. A lot of this has, doesn't have anything planted yet. A lot of it is just a patch of weeds that I need to till under. Um, but I do have these. I do have these two rows here that need to be need to be cleaned up. So get that done. It'll be looking pretty good out here. That's the last last patch that needs weeding right now. And then I've got more. Um, got stuff on stuff inside. Some squash, cucumbers, zucchini, that kind of stuff planted that's going to need to be transplanted out soon and, and that'll probably fill in the rest of this area out here or no it probably won't because that's where i had those things last year and the squash bugs will be back so they'll probably go over into the third garden spot which i'm not showing yet because there's nothing to see there but um, they'll, they'll go over there this year so i guess that's it for this time um, hopefully i'll be back in, in less than a month next time maybe in a couple weeks